Hello guys, cześć, welcome to Polish Mastery. My name is Agata and I'm a professional Polish language teacher. Um, in today's video I thought I could teach you uh, the pronunciation of some common food products, of course in Polish. Also, if you are interested in online or individual tutoring, online lessons, individual lessons, then just please drop me a line at info at polishmastery.co.uk all useful links are in the description below okay so let's focus on pronunciation jedzenie food so here we have the foods that are very popular uh, for śniadanie breakfast and kolacja um, supper last meal of a day. They are both very similar. Um, śniadanie and kolacja. Usually a sandwich or scrambled eggs, uh, things like that. Okay, all right, so let's get started. So what do we have here? Woda mineralna, woda mineralna, mineral water. Please keep in mind that the noun is first and then the adjective follows. This is important when, you, uh, when you're learning cases. Woda mineralna. Okay. Now here we have mleko, mleko, milk, mleko. Yogurt, yogurt, yogurt. Chleb bread in the basket right chleb make sure you don't pronounce b so don't say chleb b becomes voiceless at the end and sounds like p chleb chleb now here okay so bułka bread roll bułka bułka yellow cheese ser Rute, ser rute. Again, noun is first and then rute. That's an adjective. Ser rute. Or we can have white cheese, right? Ser biały. Ser biały. Ser rute, ser biały. Butter, masło, masło. Jam, jam, right? Jam, jam, jam. D plus Z with a dot, that's j, j, j. Jam, jam. Now here we have szynka, ham, szynka, szynka. And kiełbasa, sausage, kiełbasa, kiełbasa, kiełbasa. Cereal breakfast, płatki śniadaniowe, płatki śniadaniowe. But because it's so long, śniadaniowe, people tend to say just płatki, cereal. Płatki, płatki śniadaniowe. Herbata, herbata, ti, herbata, herbata. Cytryna, lemon, cytryna, cytryna, cytryna. Kakao, cocoa, kakao. Ka, kao, kakao, kakao. Okay, so it's a o, a o, kakao. Cucumber, ogurek, ogurek. Tomato. Pomidor, pomidor. Coffee, kava, kava, kava. An egg, yaiko, yaiko, yaiko. Juice, sok, sok. And honey, mute, mute. All with a line is pronounced as U. Mute, mute. And D at the end 
becomes voiceless and sounds like t. Mute, mute. And now here we have przyprawy, spices. So, cukier, sugar, sól, salt, sól, pieprz, pepper. RZ gives you z, z, z sound, pieprz. However, if it's at the end, it sounds like sh, as SZ in Polish. Sh, pieprz, pieprz. Okay, all right. And now here we have obiad, which sometimes is translated to lunch or dinner, but it's the main, the biggest meal of a day. Obiad. So usually as a, as a starter, you can have zupa, zupa, soup, zupa, and then the main meal is usually something like that. So potatoes and some type of meat and salads. So potatoes, ziemniaki, ziemniaki. Z-I gives you Z, but then you need to con connect it with the um, e. So it's Z I E in English. In Polish, those three first letters would be Z Z. Ziemniaki. Ziemniaki. Also, please make sure when you see N I that you say it um, as ni, but again, later on you have after I you have A, so you connect the three and you say nya, nya, not ni ia, but nya. Ziemniaki, ziemniaki. Mięso, that's meat. Mięso, mięso. Kotlet, cutlet or chop. Kotlet. Now here we have pierogi, right? Pierogi, famous Polish pierogi. Uh, Stuff dumplings, pierogi. Naleśniki, pancakes, naleśniki, S with a line, sh, sh, naleśniki, naleśniki. And now here we have frytki, french fries, frytki, makaron, pasta, makaron, pasta. And Polish people <laughs> Um, contrary to Italians, we we kind of tend to call macaron all types of pasta. We don't really distinguish between them so much. So sorry, guys. Okay. Um, rush, rice, rush. Again, Z with a dot by itself is rush, the drill sound. Rush. However, because it's at the end, it becomes voiceless and sounds like sh. As that sh, rush, rush. Now here we have sawatka, sawatka, salad, sawatka. Um, make sure you don't say sawata, so make sure you pronounce the K because sawata is lettuce. Sawatka, salad. Okay, and now here, ryba, fish. Ryba, r, r, ryba, and kurczak, chicken, kurczak, kurczak. Okay, guys, so now I will read it all with my normal speed. Śniadanie, kolacja, woda mineralna, mleko, jogurt, chleb, bułka. Ser żółty, ser biały, masło, dżem, szynka, kiełbasa, płatki śniadaniowe, herbata, cytryna, kakao, ogórek, pomidor, Kawa, jajko, sok, miód. 
przyprawy. Cukier, sól, pieprz. Obiad. Obiad. Please also notice that D at the end becomes T. It becomes voiceless. Obiad. Zupa. Ziemniaki. Kotlet. Mięso. Pierogi. Naleśniki. Frytki. Makaron. Ryż. Sałatka. Ryba. Kurczak. Okay, guys, so now I just would like to mention uh, one thing. If you want to say that you like something, um, for example, uh, I like coffee, lubię kawę, or mm, I like to eat chicken, uh, lubię jeść kurczaka, uh, please keep in mind you need to go into accusative case, biernik, okay? So if you want to say you like something, the verb in a basic form is lubić. Um, so, uh, ja lubię, I like. Or if you really, really like something, like you adore it, you can say uwielbiam. Basic form, uwielbiać. So it's stronger than like, you really, really like it. So I can say uwielbiam kawę, which is actually very true of me. Um, and then one thing, uh, if you want to say that you fancy something, you're feeling like eating something or drinking something, um, you can use the expression mieć ochotę na. So if you say mam ochotę na kawę, I feel like having coffee, I, I would fancy a coffee. Okay, but again, please keep in mind, this also belongs to accusative case. So you need to change the ending of the noun that, so that it would match the accusative case. Um, but that's something that we can go into more details um, during a lesson. Okay, thank you very much. Dziękuję. Have a lovely day. Do zobaczenia. Pa, pa.